we realized we had a unique opportunity to understand what impact the hurricanes might have had on the lizard populations. On average, the surviving lizards had larger toe pads and longer forelimbs. Uh, now, we think this is probably an adaptation for holding on during um, the hurricane force winds. Another question that we had going down uh, on the revisit after the hurricanes was just what do the lizards do during a hurricane? So in order to answer this question in the field, we, we came up with kind of a rudimentary experiment. One of the really important questions is whether natural populations will be able to survive this type of events and also what's going to happen to them after this type of events happen. And so this study has demonstrated that these lizards actually survived the hurricanes and not only survived but also that they changed, that their bodies have changed as a result of the hurricanes.